Yesterday, Roger Federer uploaded a video to his Facebook page that featured a practice drill of him standing right up against the wall practicing his forehand volley. And I immediately thought, oh, yeah, I should be able to do that. Got up and tried it, and of course, it was much harder than Federer made it look, obviously. But here's how you can use that drill and different variations of it at home right now. All you need is your racket, a ball, and any wall, and you can improve your coordination, improve your touch and feel, improve your racket face awareness, and improve your volleys. Let's show you how to do it. First step is I'm going to begin relatively far away. We saw Roger like right up against the wall and just like rapid fire volleying. If you start there, you're going to be frustrated <laughs> unless you have just world class hands. So what I recommend you do is begin about two steps away from the wall and start off with just four hands. And in order to maintain a rally against the wall from this far away, a couple things are really important. Number one, I want you to notice the angle of my racket face. It's very open. Every shot I'm hitting, my racket face is about here. It's almost facing straight up. I'm just giving the ball a little bit of forward energy to make it to the wall. But what happens if I flatten my racket is all of a sudden the ball will come back really, really fast and making repetitive shots becomes extremely difficult. And so to begin with, you should start off with a very open racket face so that the ball goes up off your racket, rebounds off the wall, and then drops softly back down to your racket again. Now to do this, I have a continental grip. We have lots of videos that show you how to find that if you're not sure how. And my hand is staying really relaxed. And all I'm doing here is just maintaining a neutral position with my forearm, my hand, and my wrist. That way I can keep the racket really stable and steady without having to twist or turn the racket or flip the racket or generally use my hand very much. Really all I'm doing here is using my body and my shoulder to give the racket a little bit of forward nudge into the ball as it hits my racket. But my hand here is at like a three out of 10 firmness, really relaxed. So after spending a little bit of time there, I recommend highly you go over to your backhand side for me, this is definitely more difficult. My precision is not quite the same on my backhand side. I think that's probably gonna be the case for most people. Notice the angle of my racket face here. Again, really open. And I have that same grip, a uh, continental grip. And my goal is just to find a steady tempo and trajectory with, with each and every shot. So really open racket face, relaxed hand, and that's how you can maintain a rally back and forth. If you're liking these simple tips to keep your tennis skills sharp, make sure to go to hometennismax.com. We've put together a complete comprehensive program that can help you keep all of your tennis skills honed. So when you go back to the court, you're completely ready to go. Now, to start making your way towards Federer territory, what I recommend you do is begin from two steps away and then slowly transition closer up to the wall. And that's gonna look like this. So maybe take like 10 seconds and just creep forwards a little bit at a time, just a couple inches at a time, don't rush it, and just get used to the faster tempo as you get closer to the wall. Notice my racket face is still really open, my hand is still really relaxed, and I'm just trying to maintain the the rally with good clean contact. And now I'm basically right up against the wall. Now I'm a little different than what Roger did. My racket is still very open and my shot is going up, hitting, and then coming down again. Roger's racket face was a lot more closed. We'll show you a little clip of that right now. And he was just going like rapid fire, like right off the wall. And so once you can make your way all the way up to the wall with an open racket face, and that's no problem, then you can start to transition into closing the racket and see if you can maintain the rally. So I'll try to do that whole sequence here. So open racket, two steps away. I'm gonna creep forwards, open racket, open racket, open racket until I get all the way up to the, the wall. And then I'm gonna slowly start to close my racket a little bit more, a little bit more until I can find a speed that I can manage.
<laughs> All right, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. And so as the racket closes, the rebound back to the strings becomes faster, which means your response with your hand also needs to be faster. And very quickly, you're going to discover that your hand is going to start to tire out, especially if you're squeezing harder than you need to. And so it's critical as you start further away that you're mindful of your hand pressure and tension and you keep it loose and relaxed. If I start to squeeze really hard here and then I get closer, 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 it gets faster, faster, not only is it going to be very hard to maintain the rally, but my hand is going to get tired in a hurry. Roger maintained a, a pretty flat racket and fast speed for 60 seconds, and that's really, really incredible. Let me find the ball and then I'll show you some backhands. Now let's try some backhands. These are a lot tougher. I tried a little bit earlier. It's definitely more challenging. So again, I'm gonna start two steps away with an open racket face, and then slowly creep forwards. And as I creep forwards, I wanna make sure to keep a relaxed hand, an open racket, and ideally I wanna keep going until I get right up next to the wall. And then for bonus Roger Federer points, you could slowly start to close the racket face. And it's a lot tougher. There's just not as much strength on the backhand side because it's your, your backhand side. And you know, generally, we're not as coordinated on that side. And so balancing it out and practicing both is, is really, really important. Man, it's tough. I'm pretty happy with that. Last quick tip here, the eyes are really important. You're gonna be tempted as you get closer to like literally track the ball back and forth with your eyes. That's what I did at first. And as I got closer and closer, my eye movement just got super crazy and like frantic back and forth trying to keep up with it. What you actually wanna do is just kind of maintain your gaze in a set spot and use your peripheral vision to be able to track the ball, line up your racket, and find a, a consistent spot. If you try to literally watch the ball move back and forth, it's too fast, and, and you're not gonna be able to keep up with it. So I hope you have fun with this. This is a really fun one. It's very, very directly applicable to your tennis skills. And remember, if you'd like a complete, comprehensive solution to improving all your different skills at home, your coordination, your fitness, your footwork, your technique, your mental game, Go to hometennismax.com. We hope you sign up. I know it's going to make a big difference in your game while you're stuck at home during this difficult time.